called Lord, to whom shall we go? Again, it's number 419 in our breaking records. Again, then simply return to your spot in the parking lot for the remainder of this celebration. 
Again, good morning, everyone, and welcome. Please stand and let's sing together again. Taste and see, and it's number 323. Turn your ear, Lord, and answer me. Save the servant who trust in you, my God. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all the Come to us in the word and 
sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
a reading from the book of Joshua. Joshua gathered together all the tribes of Israel at Shechem, summoning their elders, their leaders, their judges, and their officers. When they stood in ranks before God, Joshua addressed all the people. If it does not please you to serve the Lord, decide today whom you will serve. The God your fathers served beyond the river, or the gods of the Amorites in whose country you are now dwelling. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. But the people answered, Far be it from us to forsake the Lord for the service of other gods. For it was the Lord our God who brought us and our fathers up out of the land of Egypt, out of a state of slavery. He performed those great miracles before our very eyes and protected us along our journey and among the peoples whom we passed. Therefore, we also will serve the Lord, for he is our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, live in love as Christ loved us. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ loved the church and handed himself over for her to sanctify her, cleansing her by the bath of water with the word, <coughs> that he might present to himself the church in splendor, without spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. So also husbands should love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one hates his own flesh, but rather nourishes and cherishes it, even as Christ does the church, because we are members of his body. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak in reference to Christ and the church. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Okay, so we're at the final week of this spread of light discourse given to us by the evangelist John, who in truth really was just passing along to us and others how the early church grappled with and came to understand just who Jesus was, what it was that he did, what God had done in and through him, and how in this most precious and supreme gift of Eucharist, you, me, and others, and all who come before us, and all who will come after us, are the recipients and stewards of this supreme gift, this treasure. But remember one very important point. While the supreme gift of Eucharist is the very real body and blood of Jesus Christ, given to us by the Father, by the power of the Holy Spirit, for, for each of us to experience its full and complete potential to accomplish what it is that God so passionately desires and intends to be accomplished, we are called to give to God our belief, our commitment, our very communion, our living out what has been given to us. Now, certainly not to diminish the Eucharist in any way, but I want you to consider this, and as far as the possibility as it is, if I were to hand you a hundred dollar bill, and that would certainly be considered, I think, a very nice gift, and you might say, well, thank you, uh, but then, then if you were to just take it home and, and just simply place it under the mattress, well, it's, it's really not going to do much there. It still perhaps is a very nice gift, but as long as it's under that mattress, there's no real chance of it accomplishing anything of its potential. As one preacher put it, there are two ways to live life. One way is by responding. The other way is by deciding. The path that, that you will adopt will influence everything. If you live by responding, well, you adopt a passive attitude toward life. The ups and downs of life are the ones that are in control, and your role is, is only to react to them. It's always about what's happened that causes you to act the way you do, or perhaps more so, to react the way you do. Certainly, on the other hand, if you live your life by deciding, you exert some control, some discernment, some initiative over your future and who you will be. By claiming a, a say in your future, you have the potential to, to shape the ups and downs of life, rather than having them shape you. But my friends, that still requires even a little bit more tweaking. You see, many of us perhaps will say clearly, well, I have responded to God, and I've said yes. So what more do I need to do? But you see, saying yes is only the beginning. Now we're called to decide. In other words, we're called to make that choice, take those steps, live that life that manifests our yes and our response. What Jesus said and continues to say is hard. What Jesus said and continues to say can be difficult to accept, even to decide, and perhaps at times, accept and decide for all the wrong reasons. Remember, as a result, many of his disciples returned to their former way of life and no longer accompanied something tragically we still see happening in this day and age. Jesus knew this then and he knows this now. And Peter's decision, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We also know that that would not always be steadfast. But still, Peter did decide to believe. To believe that the one he called Master was real that God was real and active. And so Peter was open to that action and to cooperating with that action. 
our decision, yours and mine, to follow Jesus Christ. Our decision to take in his body and blood through the communion we receive. Our decision to do it will move us from simply being responding to deciding and choosing. And choosing to believe and live out that way. And yes, yes, there will still be the onset of tragedy or pain or suffering in life. And as painful and tragic and hurtful as those times may be, we can respond either by enduring life as a victim, or we can decide to choose to be and live life fully to the extent we are in each and every moment that we have. Yes, there will still be loss of a loved one, and we can either respond by turning inward, or we can decide and choose to strengthen the existing relationships, the open and new ones. Jesus' teaching is hard. It's not about never being challenged. It's not about never experiencing pain, but always about not being overtaken by the challenge. And as a result, never having the possibility of experiencing hope, joy, or comfort, or peace beyond the pain in the present moment. In the words of Joshua, as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. And Peter, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Life that's beyond this moment, life that's yet to be. In the midst of whatever challenges we may face, whatever pain might be ours this day, yours and mine, let us hold fast to these words and, and decide, choose, and do.
especially in Ukraine, Israel, Palestine, portions of Africa, and the Americas, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those on whom society has turned its back may not be despair, but be comforted to find that Christ's disciples will not abandon them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That wives and husbands may grow in love and be living signs of Christ's love for the church, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those whose faith is tested may stay near Christ, who has the words of eternal life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the poor and hungry, especially those served through Open M Ministries, may be cared for this day and always, and that our grab and go event may be for them a blessing, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who suffer in any way, especially our Arvidsson, Marvin Brighton, Danny Firth, Floss Firth, Doug Fox, Tasha Burtney, Dennis Polidnack, Julianne Jenkins, Greta Krugemeyer, Tom Orkowski, Bernie Mosiowski, Christine Naso, Francis O'Leary, Julie Oliver, Mary Ann Oliver, Chloe Pasco, Ann Richards, Mike Robinson, George Serbu Jr., Courtney Shemp, J.B. Zalar, as well as the victims and survivors of clergy sexual abuse in our church, may find in Christ the ultimate remedy and in this community of faith love the loving care they need, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we who have come to know and believe in Christ as God's Holy One may imitate Christ by serving one another in reverence and humility, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who serve God and remain loyal to Christ in this life, those who have recently died, Mary Jane Brennan, Joan Sparito, and John Tomei, for whom this Mass is being offered, and all of the dead may see Christ, who has ascended to where he was before, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be courageous and trust that even before we speak, our God provides for our every need, especially those needs that remain within our hearts and minds, those written in our prayer notes book, and those intentions we have been asked to pray for, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Savior, in Christ, your eternal word, you have revealed the full depths of your love for us. Guide this holy assembly of your people by the light of your Holy Spirit, so that no word or mere human wisdom may ever cause us to turn away from your Holy One, the Lord who alone has the words of eternal life, and lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Our offertory chant is put together, Lord, to whom shall we go? And it's number 498.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God and God my Father. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in that way. Love. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I have you now out of your grief, and you should enter the divine body, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life.
It's really also not just about our younger folks, but will include opportunities to test the plan for all ages. There will be two informational meetings that will be held, um, as noted on the postcard. Uh, one will be Tuesday evening, September 3rd at 7 p.m. And the second will be Saturday, September 7th at 10 a.m., both at the Paris Center, room 101. Remember, too, that, you know, I, I know we're all used to PSR, Periscope Religion, but faith formation is to, isn't just about knowing stuff about God and stuff about Jesus Christ and stuff about the Holy Spirit and stuff about the Church, but it's about knowing God, Jesus, and the Spirit and growing in our relationship with them. So, again, it's an intentional uh, shift, if you will, not just in words, but we hope in action. Registration for our families, uh, in particular our children, our youth, and our teens, will be available sometime this week. So watch, uh, I'll, I'll send out the last email for the emails that I do have so that you'll be aware of it. It'll be posted on our parish Facebook page, and the registration materials will be all PDF fillable forms. Those, again, will be on our parish website. So I would say by the end of the week at the latest, if not sooner, they'll be there. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you for the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, peace, Lord, my Lord, by your life. Amen. 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 Let's sing together one spirit, one church, and it's number 425.